Well, I hope you guys are having a good night. I just came back from my friend's house and just thought I'd help him out a little bit. He's not too good with electronics, and I'm not saying this to piss you off if you're watching, dude, but I don't get why you don't know how to log in to click your own laptop or iPad or tablet or whatever. <laughs> but then again, I don't know what kind of cell phone he uses, but that's the only thing he never seems to need my help with <laughs> trying to connect to. Like, he seems to know how to log into that is the only thing is his own cell phone, but like his own laptop or tablet or whatever that's the only thing he always seems to need my help for for some reason but anyway um no i since i live kind of close by to him a little bit that's why sometimes i will do that but even though for a while back not like recently ever since i moved here and all that but what i'm saying is like back like when I was still living at the old house like his brother would come and pick me up like because I just would go out to lunch with him or sometimes take stuff over there to cook at his place just because we did hang out a lot and since he don't really have the best health right now it's just sometimes I just try to visit with him too because you know, I don't think he has a whole lot of company and he don't see like his parents or his brother too much like every week or nothing because it's every other week that he gets with together with them and and I'm not trying to be a jerk or nothing I just think it's funny how he always needs my help with that type of stuff logging into his computer and like I was saying but uh but he's a good dude even though he like he can be a pain in the ass and I'm sorry buddy but yeah, it, you really can be a pain in the ass. But I'm not going to lie, today I did have a very, very good day. And that's another thing, too, I was thinking about, like, trying to maybe show you guys have a really good day, like, to really enjoy yourself in a really good way. That will be good for you, your head, and... Well, your mind, when I say head, to clear your head if you have to. And like I said, and like if I do vlogs every now and then, instead of like my regular videos once in a while, like like I said, it gives you guys maybe like just a chance to kind of hang out with me in a way. And it seems like this is a good way for me to make friends because I'm not really on Facebook or not that much because I'm really only on Messenger now. But, um... And just because my friends really like watching me, just to kind of interact with me, like, because this is a good way for me to hang out with my friends. When I said the real point of my YouTube channel, I'm not here to be famous or make money or nothing, no. I just like hanging out with you guys on my videos for everyone who watches me and all that. And I'm glad for a lot of you guys who like my cooking videos. It's just how I like to kind of cook a little bit just maybe show you guys what I like to do but my friend's uncle too another reason why I'm in a pretty good mood and now look just so you guys know I I'm not exactly too big on like marijuana or CBD stuff but like my friend's uncle who I think he might like I don't know if he did ever work at a dispensary, but he knows how to make, like, um, brownies. Like, you know, edibles in a way. I don't really know how he does it, because I didn't really ask, but just every once in a while, even though I don't really do the stuff, like, a whole lot or not very often necessarily, but once in a while, like, if I have an edible or something, that's, like, just, like, if I'm just visiting with them or whatever, and... Because even though I don't really eat brownies, it was just because in the state of Michigan, for one, it is totally legal recreation-wise. But just try to be like at your house or like with your friends, but not like really out in public necessarily. And um, and I can't really say too much on the federal level because it's not federally legal. Just if you have a job 
job that makes you like drug test or whatever, then you really aren't supposed to. But um, like I said, I really only do that. Just like if I'm visiting with them and if they are making one of those. I don't think he, no, he wouldn't really make these gummies that sometimes he might have, but like, because sometimes I think he does go to the dispensary when he don't always have the money to grow anything that he occasionally has or if he does like just making those brownies or whatever. But the thing is like how people are always talking about like pot cookies or just edible brownies or whatever. I mean, yeah, I guess they are kind of interesting because you're not smoking the stuff, but more or less kind of eating it, but, well, and just like, how, like I said, every once in a while, very occasionally, if I'm just doing it with them or whatever, yeah, I think there is kind of a difference between like, if you were having like, what people would call a joint, or if, um, like just eating it too, yeah, there is a difference between being high like, in those two sort of regards, and, like, I mean, they both feel good and all that, but I don't really know which one I consider better, in a way, even though, like, I, it was always a sort of decent, like, buzz, even though, like, I never had a bad one or nothing, no. Even though I kind of did like the brownies, and then again, <laughs> when people say that stuff like that gives you munchies where it makes you kind of hungry, yeah, I, yeah, I'm just glad they had some extra nachos there because he, they were making this hamburger, and I don't know why I haven't made a video on this, even though I'm really planning on it. And like, if you're having nachos instead of regular chips, try having like the regular cheese dipping sauce and then instead like I said instead of regular chips make sure maybe nacho cheese Doritos or like um Cheetos would be another good idea I'd suppose but yeah I had like this plate of nacho cheese Doritos some cheese dipping sauce and then like some cooked uh, hamburger um, but yeah, that's what I had, and it wasn't too bad, um, but then again, I didn't really have any drinks there, like how sometimes I might have a beer with them or whatever, but then again, I ain't gonna say it too much, but, and look, before anyone says some shit about me being a smartass or whatever, no, I don't like Bud Light beer. I never have when it's Bud Light. And I don't think Budweiser itself is too included with the whole Bud Light, Dylan, Mudvayner thing or whatever. But even though that's another reason why I'm not going to have Bud Light beer, to me there's still a bit of a difference between Bud Light and then Budweiser. Just for my personal preference, Bud Light just was never a beer I liked ever since I was old enough to drink. I don't like the flavor, and then again, to me, Bud Light itself is more sissy-like to me when Budweiser is actually one of the actually strongest beers. The way I always seen it is, if you like Budweiser but want it to not be as strong, then Bud Light would be the one for you is the way I always kind of seen it. I mean, Miller Lite is a beer I kind of do like. I also like Coors. Corona, that beer, I'm not too... I mean, I like it and I can drink it, but it's just not my personal preference at most. And like, uh... I mean, I do like a Mickle Lite. I'm not too sure about Bush. But... And then again, like with certain strong alcohols, I... Well, we really do that if it's like if I'm having dinner party like with family. I mean, I can mix like a vodka or like one of my sodas together for a mixed drink. But then again, like I said, I don't even really drink 
hard alcohol like that all the time. And the only time if I was like drinking whiskey is if I was having like a date night with any girls that I was talking with. Like that's the only time like if I want like whiskey or some stuff, I'd be doing it like more with one of them. Like if we were chillaxing one night together and want to have a drink together that way. But no, I'm just saying too, and like for the most part, um, even though I don't really do edibles very often, unless if it's like in a, on a good occasion, like with one of my friends at like their house, when I hang out with them at every now and then, like every other week or whatever, that those brownies my his uncle makes is like, I, they're not too bad and I guess I don't mind doing them once in a while and if like you guys live in a state where the stuff is legal of course and and if you can handle it like where it's not going to make you paranoid or nothing but like I kind of do recommend stuff like that as long as like it's not going to make you paranoid and you can handle this stuff or make you act all weird or nothing and yeah like stuff like that it's not a bad thing to do or try if you can and as long as you're old enough too of course but and a few times when I did kind of do that stuff alone just I don't know it just don't really seem all that quite as much fun like doing it by yourself unlike if you were doing it like with your friends or like if People who are boyfriend and girlfriend might enjoy doing stuff like that more together, too. But, uh, shit. But, too, I just wanted to do another quicker vlog because I had a little time. And since I just got back from my friends after I took him and his brother for a walk out on these trails. Because they're not too far from here. Um... And as you guys seen why I really like the trails, but just because I just thought I'd see how you guys were doing too. Because I like kind of just doing this. And I thought too, like if I do vlogs like how to enjoy your day when you like don't have to work or if you wanted to just do something with your friends, have fun together. Because like, I want to see more people enjoy their days just as much as I do because I feel good making other people feel good and just doing something good just to be a better person. I feel good about stuff like that. Unlike for people who try to do good things but where they have secret motives about certain things, not just like with trying to get girls or like just try to manipulate people that way because that ain't the right thing to do and that is wrong, as most people would agree on that. But, and just too, like anytime I'm having a really good day, I really try to make sure I have time to either do something like make a video if I have enough time and like that too. But, sorry, I'm just getting a little tired. Because I've been up since 6.30 and just that, probably because I am really mellow too from having a little bit of that brownie at their house. <laughs> and that's another thing too, like anytime I'm doing stuff like that, the way I always feel is just really relaxed, mellow, in a really good mood. And like once I do start kind of coming off the stuff, like when it wears down, you know, I do tend to get a little somewhat sleepy, like almost tired, but like, yeah, I, I can get pretty hungry too. <laughs> like I said, with how I made my nachos being so hungry and because I knew it was going to be good that way. And one thing, I don't know how if I will really be able to do this, but if you guys ever wanted to meet my dad on a video... I would see if it'd be okay, like, if I did, could record him with me, but I really don't know, because I know he probably don't really want to be on YouTube, but it was just a thought, and, 
I hope you guys, if you really want, I can see if like my brother would want to kind of do a vlog with me at his house on like Christmas dinner. I w was going to try, like I said, on Thanksgiving in my vlog video, but I didn't really remember to do it too much, but, um, but anyway, I'm going to probably, uh, just try to find a quick movie and then get relaxing for tonight, but I'll probably see what I'm doing this weekend, see if I can't do a video or nothing, but, you know, and Peter, I hope you really been liking my videos, I appreciate all the support, buddy, but yeah, um, <laughs> And like I said, I don't mind if you mention my name or nothing since I am friends because we are good buddies and all that. But uh, like I said, you mentioning my name, just saying hello or like a shout out or anything. No, I don't mind it at all. And I kind of appreciate you doing that because I just like being remembered that we are always going to be very good friends. And... So, uh, like I said, if I have time on, like, the weekend, I'll maybe just give you guys another quick update or something if I have time. And I don't know what I'm watching tonight, but like I said, uh, I'm just going to relax for tonight because I am getting a little poofed. But hope you all have a good night, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, everybody.